So through the big cloud of vape and I am back. Got my hat on ready to go. I've got my specs on again. So my eyes are not quite back, but I'm here. And where have I been? You might be asking. Mostly I've been lying on this couch feeling really sick. So what's happened? Uh, well, the last vlog that I did, I wasn't actually in that vlog. Uh, that was on Monday. And I did a voiceover just saying that I'd had an allergic reaction. I wasn't doing too good, uh, but I had seen the doctor. So on Monday, I did work from home uh, and I managed to get an after hours doctor's appointment to go along and see the doctor. Did that, went along, got the antihistamines and the, I was taking the antihistamines and aside from making me really sleepy, these weren't actually having any effect on the rash that had broken out. Uh, so Tuesday came along, I worked from home again, but through the course of Tuesday, my eyes were swelling up and my face was getting all puffy, and my eyelids were swelling and... It was getting really hard for me to see, but I managed to work from my shift. I was taking my antihistamines, but they weren't really affecting. And when I woke up on Wednesday morning, uh, my right eye was so swollen that I couldn't open it. And my left eye was swollen, swollen so badly I could only open it half. So it ended up that I called up the doctor again on Wednesday morning and got an appointment to go in at 9 o'clock. Went straight in. The doctor seen me right away just took a look at my face and went, yeah, you've had a massive allergic reaction. Uh, the antihistamines are not working there. Carry on taking them. But I'm going to give you a prescription for steroids as well uh, to really kick this in the butt. And got the steroids and they started working magic. So I've taken them. I've got one more day on that course to do. And Wednesday, by Wednesday afternoon, I was already starting, the swelling was already starting to go down. I could see out of both eyes again. And come Thursday, I was pretty much back to being able to move around to drive. I didn't look very good, but I could I could see again. I could do things again, and it allowed me to progress through the rest of the week. Yesterday, I was yesterday, which was Friday. I was I was almost back to normal, and today, which is Saturday, I am pretty much back to normal. I've still got a bit of red skin going on. I've got some dry skin going on, so I'm putting moisturizer on it. I, I haven't shaved because I don't want to shave yet. Uh, I want to make sure this is all cleared up before I shave my face and my head. So uh, I'm getting back to normal. Um, but I've not been in a position where it's been good to actually make a video. I didn't want to come on camera. Now I'm going to throw up some pictures just here of just, that I did a few selfies through the course of how bad this actually got. So if you've got a weak disposition, close your eyes for the next 20 seconds or so. And I'll come back and I'll tell you what else has been going on. You can open your eyes again if you didn't want to look at that. Now, what else has happened this week? It's also been my daughter's birthday. So through the course of uh, being quite sick, I've also had my daughter here. Now, uh, it's one of these things as a parent, if you're a parent, it doesn't matter if you're sick, you still got to look after your kids. And it's one of these things that happens. It was my, it was my daughter's birthday as well. So there was a lot going on. So she came over on Tuesday. Uh, my sister very kindly picked her up because I was in no no condition to drive. I couldn't see to drive. So she was here Tuesday night. I was working from home as well, which was fine because I put her to bed and I could do my work. It was absolutely spot on. My sister stuck around to help me out. So she was here for Wednesday morning, uh, which was when I had to go back to the doctor's. So she held my hand and took, my daughter took me to the, do to the doctor's. So that was absolutely great. Uh, brilliant. Uh, Thursday was meant to be the last day that I had her, so Thursday morning we did her birthday presents and Thursday afternoon I was able to drive again. We went over to my sister's and we had a birthday dinner and birthday cake and everything. But while I was there I had a talk with my daughter's uh, mother and she gave the option for her to stay another night. And we did a video call and let my daughter make the choice and she decided to have an extra night at daddy's house, which was, which was great, an extra night with my daughter. Uh, but because we'd already done pretty much all the birthday stuff already, I ended up taking her to Butterfly World on Friday, which was her birthday. Uh, so I took her for a visit to the Butterfly World. She's 
five years old. She loves all the girly stuff, unicorns, butterflies, everything. So she really enjoyed that. We went there for a couple of hours. It's a great place. Uh, loads of kids there that day. Uh, fed the animals. And it's a really, really good place. That really gets a thumbs up from me for them. And then dropped her off. Went into work on Friday. And then back home late night and then I've been at work today as well uh it's been a long shift today I started at nine didn't finish till eight and this is me just getting in now and this is the first time that I'm feeling up to actually recording anything so that's what's been going on for the last few days uh, it has been quite a busy few ones and I've been feeling pretty rough through most of it and I've just not felt confident enough with my face to come on and do a full vlog uh, no one would want to see it. I could barely look at myself in the mirror. It's been really awful. Uh, but it's good to actually be back in front of the camera and recording. Now, it does mean that my streak's over. I've lost my streak. I did 38 vlogs in a row. So it's going to take a while before I get back up to that level. But I'm going to work on it and get there. Uh, a few other things that have been going on. A bit of vape news. So you might have noticed this is a new device. This is a vape pen. This is a Smok 22 vape pen. This is one of the budget kits that I was getting in. Uh, this was £12 from eBay. So this is a sub-ohm kit. Uh, it's running 0.3 ohm coil in there. And it does chuck clouds pretty good. Not bad for a little 12 quid kit. The other kit that's turned up as well is this one here now this is a, a tesla sig terminator with an ant-man rda so this is an rda kit that's come uh and this another 12 pound from ebay job so this is another budget kit so these are all part of the vapor budget kits that i'm doing uh this one is i've got a build in here that's a 0 0.2 ohm uh it's with the coils that actually came with it um just give it a quick And full reviews on both of these devices will be coming along with the Penguin that I've got as well. The Keyboard Penguin which is just here. Uh, so that's the other budget mod that I'm doing. So I have been running all three of these devices. And I'm going to be doing full reviews on these. These are budget devices that are equivalent to the price of a cost of a pack of cigarettes. Uh, I've been running them as my main devices for the past uh, few days while I've been, not been well. Uh, today I left the house with only these two devices. So this has been what I've been running all day. And so far this one is definitely standing out because it does chuck those nice clouds there. It's not a big cloud chucker. It does fit nicely in the hand. But full reviews on these devices will be coming. Uh, obviously these two came while I was not well so I didn't get to do the vape mail on camera for them but they've come in uh, what else is going on uh, today is been the F1 qualifying so I watched that at work uh, so there will be an F1 video tomorrow as well after the race so I'm gonna do my uh, I'm probably gonna do the qualifying part of that video today and then I'll do the rest of it tomorrow once the race has happened I'm working tomorrow as well, but I'm not working till 12, so I've got a bit of a lie in tomorrow, a bit of chill out time, uh, and Monday's back to college. So luckily this week with being ill, it has been quite a good week to do it because I haven't been in college, but it's good to be back. It's good that I'm back making videos again. There's a full and so behind on all the videos that I had planned. Uh, this week I was going to be doing so many videos because I wasn't in college and I haven't done any because I've not been well and uh, it's good to be back, good to be back in the saddle, good to be making a video again and back on the couch again. Right, pretty much going to be it, uh, all the usual stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on the Twitter there, that's the at one purple mongoose. The Patreon is up and running, please jump over, take a look at that, take a look at the Patreon video on the channel. All explains it all. Uh, I'm asking you guys to help me out and getting stuff going here. So www.patreon.com slash purple mongoose. And as ever, vape on.